free card as a fresh would be or something that can oh. save it directly, but okay, we've got the Sion jacks mid. locked in, and yeah, that means Scion is now switched over because you guys were just talking about, hey, Gwen's only really threatened by another carry. Yeah. Well, here about that poke, you know, between the poke from the sapling, the poke from the Jace, uh, the long range from this. Oh God, six oh, A's. Very likely dead. Flashed away, but it's not enough. The Chompers are behind him, and Jinx is in front. Merc there. Looks like on Ruler's face, and 6A knows he definitely messed that one up. But Golden Guardians will be able to secure the Dragon, so nicely done from them on that. They use that Eye of the Herald in to see how much value they can get from it. But River now looking trouble. for an opportunity on 369 here. No Ghost, no Flash, no defensive summoners available here for the Gwen. He will not escape and have the Ghost available. River looking for the engage here on bottom side. They missed the Glacial Prison, but they got the follow-up coming in from Nautilus. Ruler tries to get away, but who he goes fishing and River landing. They're just going to continue to push in. They can easily take these plates here. And the Herald comes out. We're thinking about fighting these guys here a little bit, but Stixay's not around to do any damage to the enemy targets. Knight they got to be careful moving. about this. Knight's making his way down here. Golden Guardian's trying to disengage. Who he's sticking around too long. He gives away a free kill. And now Golden... You have pushed through bot. Ruler's coming out now. We'll see if they want to get this fight, because there could be an, an engage angle for Gory. Here he comes! Golden Guardians are ready to go in. They try to engage on the enemy jungler, but they aren't able to find the damage in time. JDG can disengage it thanks to Ganabi's flash, and now they're ready for the counterattack! River's already dead, and Ruler got the money. They throw down the Chompers, and they beat down the Guardians. Knight gets away back into the safety of the pit as Konami tries to buy a little more time. A shot from downtown from Knight, and Gory's running for the hills. Ruler finds another one, and JDG. This is what I was talking about earlier, right? Yeah. It's if you continue to fall behind, if the gold keeps going the other way, trying to take more of those in the LPL. You know, they're nearly 2,000 gold ahead at 15 on average in their games. So, you know, they are very difficult to deal with, but that is a tower taken by Knight. So I think they are going to look for this. All right, can Knight get away from it? Who he goes in, drops the depth charge. Now can they get Double the follow-up? Missing is already there. Licorice coming around, trying to see if there's an angle, but it ain't gonna happen. 369 has cut off the escape. He's buying a little bit more time as the damage continues pouring in. And JDG grabbed the first kill. It'll be traded back one for one with both top laners dropping as who he's barely hanging on to life. The turret goes down even because Ruler's back in the mid lane. It's an even fight in a 4v5 and JDG are the ones still pushing forward. And JDG don't look like they're done. The knockup from Gory. And Navi getting caught here a little bit. Gotta be careful about it, but Stixay's already down instead. Kanavi gets away. And Knight is showing the Golden Guardians of the LPL game. Golden Guardians are unfortunately at the point of the game where contesting anything in neutral territory is just a steep cliff. Yeah, I mean, after the play goes bad on top side, now Licorice likely to die here on the bot side. I don't think there's any way he goes home, man. Knight is there you lose on the top side as well you lose the tier one top also tonight who stayed around after that now you lose the drag and it's only going to balloon further once you've lost two terrors in the mid lane it's so difficult to hold on to these tier twos as well because pulling all neutral objectives drakes heralds barons and for golden guardians that's why i had to bring it up earlier these neutral objectives are so hard to fight for in this game state but golden guardians are getting into it now a little bit missing here on the front line picked up by stick say Golden Guardians get one, but JDG doesn't want to just let him get away with it. Stixay's got 200 HP. He tries to disengage, and 369 forces the flash. And no one's blocking those, those shot blasts for Stixay. You know, you have all these meatballs on the team here. You talked about uh, the, the juxtaposition on the other side where everyone is just stepping in forward and blocking things for Knight. No one was doing that for Stixay. He shouldn't have had to use either summoner. They're going to have to try to get out here as fast as possible. We'll see if River can make some magic happen. River hoping to maybe find a Miracle Steal, but no, sir. Kanavi's got the smite, he's got the confidence, and they pick up the kill on River for the cherry on top. It was a nice attempt, but there's not really much you can do now. Gory might be in trouble. Gory trying to get away from the collapse of JDG, but it's the Golden Guardians who are falling to pieces down mid. Knight recalls, but he has his teleport to join back up, drops it on the minion as soon as it gets to the it. turret, just yeah. guaranteeing they can push into the base now. River's back in five seconds, but Gory's still dead for 25 more, and JDG is already 10,000 gold up. They're pushing straight into the Nexus turrets. The Maokai ulti goes down. They find plenty of damage onto Hui, onto River. Who he barely gets out, and River's at 100 health. 
Licorice tries to stand and fight, but the Jax is down, and Knight is unstoppable. JDG take game one and smash the Golden Guardians.